up next on Fixer Upper with Ruth and Thomas. Are y'all ready to see our comic strip? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our channel. We are Ruth and Thomas. And we bring you unique date ideas every single week. This week, we're really excited because we have a special guest. Our guest is Mr. Adventure Challenge. We are so excited to announce that we are partnering with them to bring you this awesome book that we actually got for Christmas and have been blown away by how much it aligns with everything that we value in dating. Affordability. Adventure. Getting out of your comfort zone. This book, the Adventure Challenge Couples Edition, is 50 unique date ideas. You pick out a date based on a few criteria. It has the price, the amount of time it's gonna take, and what time of day you should do it during. For each date, they actually have space to journal your experience after you've done the date, and a sticky little strip where you can add a photo. And they have a no take back policy. So if you scratch it off and you see it and you're like, "Mm, I don't really wanna do it, you have to do it. No take backs. So once you're done with all 50 dates, you have this beautiful memento that you can keep forever and look back on and remember all the weird moments that you had together. (laughs) If it sounds like something that you would like to have in your own life, we actually have a coupon code for you if you check out their website in the description below and use the code Ruth and Thomas, all spelled out you'll get 10% off your orders. Even if you don't have a significant other, they have four books. One for singles, couples, friends, and a book for families. So everyone, (laughs) you're in one of those categories. We're gonna go ahead and jump in and do a date for ourselves today and take you guys along with us. We have chosen from the cheap category (laughs) because that's who we are. We're gonna be doing the foreign doppelganger I have no idea what that means. I don't know what that means either, but if it means that we get to find someone from another country that looks like us, I'm all for that. (laughs) I've heard that using a coin can sometimes scratch it off too much and you won't even be able to read it, so we recommend using something a little bit more gentle. Maybe not this. All right, Ruthie, what does it say? Create a comic strip telling the story of your relationship. Oh, that's cute. Draw pictures, write captions, and color it in. Here's the catch. All the words must be written using Chinese characters. What? That's so exciting! Hey, I have a bit of like a... You're Chinese! I have a leg up. We could totally like send it to my grandma. That'd be so fun. Oh. My grandma and I have a hard time communicating sometimes because she doesn't speak a lot of English and my Chinese is terrible. Like, I try to speak Chinese to her and she thinks I'm still speaking English because it's so bad. <laughs> but this would be a fun little thing to show her. All right. All right. Let's get to it. Since I have no background in comic books whatsoever, I wanted to just Google it and kind of, you know, see what it, comic book book. Comic book. See what they look like, get some inspiration. Okay, this one's like super traditional. Okay, vibrant colors. Uh Uh-huh. Everything is in quotes and word bubbles. Yeah, these are all Spider-Man. 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 All right, are you inspired? Yeah. I like it. I'm excited. So first we're going to make a storyboard. We're going to kind of just sketch it up, a rough idea of what we're going to be doing. And then we're going to come up with dialogue. And then Ruth is going to look up the translation for the dialogue and I will start the animation. Also, it's a really beautiful snowy day out there, which is why we picked an indoor date. Just so you can see. Look at the pretty snow. It was snowing a lot harder earlier. Yeah, I guess it We're looks... showing you the pretty snow. And it looks piddly. Look, snow. All right, you ready? Yeah.
Thomas is really good at doodling. I've always been blown away by his ability to draw caricatures. Oh, that's sweet. I think it's gonna be really good. Ruth sees Thomas. She says, who's that guy? And he's wearing a dapper suit, and he's walking to class, and he's got like, you know, books under his arm and papers yeah, yeah. falling out, you know, the classic comic book Muscles trope. Muscles just like Right, exploding out, out of him. <laughs> and then he's holding the door and he says, I'm Thomas, would you like to go on a run sometime? Ooh. And she goes, what eye? What eye? Hard eye. Ah, wooga, wooga. And then two months later, they're running a marathon. Cut to two years later. Oh my God. Thomas, gosh. man, I think I could really marry that girl. And then, will you marry me? I do, I do. Car running off into the sunset. Oh, cute. I like it. Do you like it? I likes it. I think we've got a good plan. It's going to be fun to see our story in visual format. Yeah. I don't know. That's not something you really get to see. We've told the story a hundred times, but <laughs> now when we tell it to friends, we'll have like a, we'll pass out. Here's a comic strip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the next step, I am going to do the Chinese characters. If you didn't know, the interesting thing about Chinese is that each character is a word, whereas in English, like it's a bunch of letters make up a word, not in Chinese. There's one character for like hippopotamus or <laughs> one character for hamburger. Let's begin. Who is that guy? Na jia huo shi shei. Let's see how did how good I did. That sounded okay. All right, there we go. Dialogue for our comic book. Thomas is going to keep drawing. I'm going to go make us some warm drinks. Okay, that looks pretty good. There you go, artist hard at work. Um Low, which I knew that. <laughs> so now that the initial sketch is done, Ruth is going to add the Chinese characters over the top of it and outline it all in pen. Are y'all ready to see our comic strip? Yes. Okay. Wow. wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god.
thank you guys for joining us on this date. This is one of many unique creative ideas that are contained within the pages of this book. Check out their website via the link below and use code Ruth and Thomas at checkout for 10% off. Also, if you like this kind of content, we would be so honored if you would check out our channel. And if you like what you see, consider pressing that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And we're also super close to a thousand subscribers, which is our first huge milestone. Thank you all for helping us get there. And we'll see you guys next week. Okay, ready? <laughs> no! You, you made me go! I have the circulatory system of an iguana. Oops. Oh, well, my hair looks good. Whoosh, you ruling the nung pong y'all. That's the only <laughs> sentence that Thomas knows, and it means I am Ruth's boyfriend. So that's what was taught to me. <laughs> it's been a while. We need to update it. Time Ruth's husband. Yeah, what's the word for husband? If you know, comment below.